Hey people, it's 7 a.m. here in New York. I was just thinking out loud. <laughs> you know, uh, I got a message from someone talking about the protest today. It was interesting, you know, a lot of people showed up. I think they said hundreds of people. Hundreds of people showed up to the Wall Street thing. Well, it's a start at least, you know. I don't think it's going to do anything, but, you know, it's a start. At least nobody really got arrested and no damage was done. No, you know, no violence was done. And I'll just say this, guys. I, I still think that the only thing that's going to bring major change in this country is when things get so bad that people actually start realizing they have no other choice but to start protesting and rioting. And that's just my view on it, guys. And, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. What I mean by that is, you know, when they go to the local ATM machine, they can't get money out. Or when food prices get so high and gas prices get so high that they can't afford to eat and they can't afford to go to work. And that involves everyone, you know, because everyone needs food and everyone needs gas. And they'll say, wait a minute, what in the world is going on here? And then everyone will be going to their uh, local congressman and the White House lawn, you know, by themselves. They won't need anybody to coax them over. They'll be going over themselves. But by then, of course, it'll be too late, you know. <laughs> or maybe uh, things will have to get so bad that, you know, there'll be actually uh, martial law on the streets. And those few brave people that will actually stand up to the uh, people uh, initiating the martial law will uh, end up in FEMA camps somewhere, you know. Maybe that's what uh, has to happen. But it's not going to be long, guys. It's not going to be long for uh, that event to take place. I'm just telling you. You know, it's not going to be long. Not not long at all. So, uh, I don't know what to tell people anymore. I really don't. No. I saw a video, uh, what was her name? Water Lily 2012 opened my eyes. She showed me a slideshow of all the homeless people on the beaches and streets and and people just don't care. If it's not happening to them, they don't care. And that's what I'm saying. When it happens to everyone, when everyone's involved, you know, when this thing hits everyone, like a couple of hundred million people, and then people will start protesting. And, but by then it'll be too late. The collapse have already happened. The bank collapse, the economic, total economic collapse you need. A worldwide chaos for people to actually you know, stop what they're doing, put down that uh, 40 ounce, put down that blunt, uh, stop watching Dancing with the Stars, stop watching uh, all that other crazy shows you have on TV today, and uh, stop worrying about what's the newest thing we're worried about now. Oh yeah, people are upset about Chaz Bono, because he's going to appear on Dancing with the Stars, but people don't think it's right. Because he was a she, or she was a he. Who cares, guys? There's so much stuff happening in the world now. It's such a joke. I was watching that and almost like hysterical laughing. People are worried about Chaz Bono, what sexual preference he is. You know? Unbelievable. <laughs> People can't afford to put food on the table, the average American. People can't afford to pay the mortgage. And they're raising the, 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 the tolls on bridges and tunnels by so much that people won't be able to afford to go to work and people are worried about Chaz Bono that's the biggest biggest problem but you know what I'm waiting for guys I'm waiting for the times to get so bad that the least of their problems they won't even be worried about Chaz Bono or nonsense like that they'll be worried about if they're where their next meal is coming from and then by then it'll be too late and that's just my two cents for this uh, little uh, video Take it easy, guys, and God bless you. Bye.